Hello everyone, welcome back to baseball right here on youtube.com slash Rex. My name is Sean. Today we're coming off a pretty rough loss to the Toronto Blue Jays. Made some poor decisions early in that game um, and in combination with uh, bad offense, the game kind of just blew up uh, pretty much immediately and we were not able to make a successful comeback attempt. We put a couple runs on the board, but by then it was too little too late. And even when we put the first run on the board, we immediately gave that up. So not a great showing. We're going to hopefully improve coming off. We came off with such a big win in game number one that game number two was like, hey, going with some going in with some momentum and then just kind of destroyed that as quickly as possible. Um, so apparently I'm working against multiple technical issues here. Uh, Internet's been rough since Monday, July 4th, which has been a little bit um, frustrating. It just goes out which means that if it goes out, then this game will not work because I just don't have this set up as my home console. Um, and then El Elgato wasn't uh, capturing correctly either. So hopefully that neither of those are big problems. We're going to try and just get through this game as quickly as possible. Kevin Gossman, 6-7 and seven with a 2-4-4 ERA. It's a weird record with such a low ERA. Taking on Robbie Ray. 10 and 3 with a 2-1-0 ERA as the Toronto Blue Jays and the Seattle Mariners get ready for game number three. We're four games up on the Astros, eight and a half up on the Astros. That's or Astros, four, and a, four over the Astros, eight and a half over the Angels. My apologies. As the American League East is very tight and the American League Central are very tight. I think some of the American League West teams are playing either East or Central teams. So with it, uh, they are keeping it close while blowing up teams in the Western division. Cause all three of those divisions were really, really tight, but it has not been, um, it's, it, we're, we're getting further ahead and we might have that same situation as we have Robbie Ray on the mound today. We might have a similar situation that we did last year where like the Astros were behind us for so long, for so long. And they just could not get past us. Every time we won, they won. Every time they lo or we lost, they lost. They like got within like a certain group or whatever, like a certain distance, and they like maybe pick up a game here and there. But then they would inevitably drop that game, and it was. I wonder if we have a similar situation happening here. We're gonna try and keep this starting lineup. By the way, we're gonna try and keep this uh, together um, by doing that. What is happening? Stop. A couple of righties at the bottom of the lineup, a couple of righties in the middle of the lineup, but good uh, lefties at the top. It's actually tempting to... Well, Jake Fraley's, Fraley's already in the lineup. Never mind. It's kind of tempting to maybe try and throw a Sam Haggerty in there a little bit. Um, Tapia gives us another lefty bat, though he doesn't have a ton of... Doesn't have a ton of power. Good contact, though, but that's more against lefties, interestingly enough, than righties. Um, I think we'll just go ahead and go with this lineup. I, I'm comfortable with it. Feels good. Hopefully I didn't make too many or any mistakes there. Dom T. Williams in right field. Kyle Lewis in center. Jake Fraley in left. I think I think we should be okay. Hopefully the internet holds out as long as I needed to. And welcome in everybody. Glad you're with us. Two of the best teams in the game square off. It's the Toronto Blue Jays taking on the Seattle Mariners. Joined by my partner, Chris Singleton, I'm John Shambi. And we got a notable pitching matchup in this one, Singy. We've all anxiously hey, anticipated Robbie this Ray. matchup. You've got the ace of each club going face-to-face. -face. No excuses today. Our best against their best. We'll see how it turns out. All right, we'll be back to get this one Blue Jays Mariners coming up next on MLB The Show 22. 
Robbie Ray, 18 starts a 10 and 3 record, 2.10 ERA, 120 innings pitched, 95 hits given up, only eight walks. That's a whip of 0.86, 115 strikeouts. All right, ready to get underway. And now Bo Bichette. Bo Bichette. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. Missed on the first one. It was 100% accurate. God, that's frustrating. Coming off a very frustrating game yesterday. Hopefully we can get things uh, moving in a good direction today. And a pop up right side, foul territory. Brings it right, in. Bit of a better start. I did not see the difficulty pop for the uh, pitching. I don't know that it dropped yesterday, but we'll see. And now for the Jays, number 20. Honestly, probably should have with the way I was pitching. Or Justice Sheffield gave up nine hits, or nine earned runs, excuse me, yesterday. They had like 18 hits on us. They had so many hits. It was brutal. Two outs, base is empty. Here's Vladimir Guerrero Jr. What a season it's been for him. He has supplied a lot of power and that average. This was a part of the issue yesterday. The two out contact, two out hits. Swings through that one for strike two. Is there a little wrinkle to that? I think there was. Yeah. A little slider action. No score just getting started. Top of the first. The next offering misses. And it's one and two. Next offering. Ooh, boy, that one was bad. That really one was take, bad. Especially with two Got a little strikes. anxious. Thought about the Kick home run saves. I gave up. That one misses. What the fudge? That's ball okay. Three. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. Payoff pitch. Ooh, we saved me there from giving up a walk. The three two is off. That one was really bad. We had uh, really good outs there. I think that was a seven pitch at bat. We got through the first two outs in like three total. And now I just cannot find the zone here. A little worrying. Got up to an 0-2 count. And just can't find it. I think that's six straight balls. Oh, well, they he had the foul, so. There we go. Guerrero off the first with two away. Here's a swing and a drive left field. Wow. Knew it. Darn it. Wow, that is, that is where it gets the most frustrating. Gave up a bad walk, and then it's a two-run home run. I mean, the Blue Jays are a good team. I Like, it's it's hard to be... Even, even yesterday, where it was like, ah, shit, like, we're getting just fucking trounced right now. It, it, where there's still a 50-win team, we've been playing better lately, but we haven't really faced, like, top competition. Uh, we're facing that now, and it is showing that I am maybe just not where I need to be. Four-seam fastballs have given me trouble, and we went from three pitches with, like, two outs to about 16, and we're still in this inning. As a veteran out there on the ball, you're trying to establish both edges of the plate right here. He's working inside. On the ground to the left. And it finds this was a problem yesterday three. as well. So he gets on base and keeps it going. That, is it. The catcher, Reese. that pretty much split the, the zone ball. down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Here's Reese McGuire. First pitch. Just I am not on, not on it today at all. What is going on? Next one off the plate inside, and it's two and zero. Oh. Left hand hitter waits. Line drive, base hit. They stop the lead runner at second. Now two on with two outs. Really stayed true on that swing. It wasn't uh, an easy pitch, lefty on lefty. 
pitch was a little down, a little bit away, but he committed to it. His shoulder stayed square to the plate and didn't try to pull off that ball at all, and that's why he jumped off the bat. Next offering is fouled back. Well, lots of pitches thrown in this first inning, and it's kind of that nightmare scenario for starting pitching, but... Well, that's a strikeout, and that'll do it for the unit. Plus two come across wow, what a disaster. Two-run homer. It's now a 2 nothing ball game. I think we've given up runs in the first inning in every game of this series. Bottom of the Fuck. first. And towing the slab, Kevin Gossman. Gonna be hard to top Could not find my mouse second. there. Sorry. Uh, 18 starts, 6 and 7 record, 244 on the ERA, 114 innings pitched, 92 hits, 101 strikeouts, 23 walks, a 1.01 whip. So we might have our work cut, cut out for us today. Uh, really surprising that that record is a losing record with that ERA. Really nice first season in the big leagues. Definitely a rookie of the year candidate. And a pitch. And there's a strike. We'll have to put All right, what are we? Offense, what are we working against here? A 97 mile an hour fastball, a splitter at 86, a circle change which we just saw at 86, slider at 84. Really late on that fastball. Next pitch misses. One's inside. Saw the ball ball really well in the first game. Game number two, not so much. And the righty deals. In the air to left center. Bichette on the move. No trouble here. That was Looks a really bad swing. End. One up, one down. JP. And a batter now, J.P. Crawford. Taken high in the draft. He's had that top prospect labeled over him since he put on a professional uniform. But at some point, that starts to go away, and you've got to produce at the big league level. There we go. There we go. Kind of saw where he wanted to go with it. Sold out for that one a little bit, and maybe not my best idea, but curious if you would want to try and go low. Went with that circle change in the lower third there. One down. This is Kyle Lewis. Good power. Not great in the OBP department. Way out of where I'm looking. Slice to right, and that's a base hit. They get it in quickly. So Batting first four. and second, now the one out. Hitter. That's back-to-back -back singles for him. Nice job of Hitter. driving that pitch. The other there we go. A little late on it, which is unfortunate because that was right where I was looking for it. But wasn't a double play. But right there it did, and he did it perfectly. And you can feel this crowd waking up a bit here as the guys are starting to make some noise with their backs. Oh. The first offering is fouled off. Pitch. Hard hit. Oh, shoot. Darn it. I thought I might be able to get it over him. Lucky to have runners on first and third. Okay, that'll score a run. That's all right. That's, that's what I want to see. Cash in the runner on third. Way inside. It's great to get on the board in the first frame of the ball game, but here's an opportunity for them to really open things up with a couple of runners on. Let's see if they can cash in. 53 speed at second. The pitch. Ooh, I missed it. I missed it. I fucking shit. 
I wanted all of it. I don't know that if, if even if it was a contact swing, I would have. Darn it. Pretty lucky to get that run across. Um, mainly because if, if the third baseman, if he catches that, that's probably a pretty easy double play. But mercifully, we were able to get first and third. And here it comes. Fuck me! Come on. This time around, last inning, threw a lot of pitches. Check swing, but he went too far. That's strike one. The pitch. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Wow, that should have been a home run. Mother of God. And that one almost got him. I'm getting really frustrated with this. And it's only the second inning. Saying he wasn't very sharp in the first, got hit around Come on. a bit, just wasn't able to locate particularly well. A lot of stuff and it's, I'm still not play. locating yeah, well. Fooling anyone. It's a tough place to be because it's not always obvious what adjustments need to be made. Try and open a Series 1 2022 pack. Predictable. Sometimes you're tipping your pitches. He's going to need to figure it out quickly, though. The 3-2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Well, a great back and forth, and that at bat. He had to play off some really close pitches. And it is unbelievable that I had two outs with, like, three pitches. Runner on the go. Pitch in for a strike. Got him. Out at second. Usually when you see a team try to steal a base in the early innings, it tells you they want to be aggressive on offense. Try to force the defense to make plays and slow them down. That's exactly what they did right there. So we'll see if that caught stealing changes the offensive approach moving forward. Next offering is in for a strike. I understand you want to try to gauge that guy's fastball, but you also have to be aggressive and ready to hit in your zone. Now you're in a tough spot. Ripped to third and caught. So the shed. Thank you, Toro. Appreciate it. Bo Bichette up to the dish. That one's in there, 0 and 1. The strong second inning is a confidence builder for him, a relief for his manager. Doesn't have to get into that bullpen quite as early. The next pitch misses. And now it's even Damn it. one and one. I mean, we're at 35 pitches here, and we're... And now the lefty. And a count one and two. Some real good life going to the zone on that one. And a foul ball. Come on. The fastball at the bottom of the zone can be very effective. Just got to keep it on the corners. Next pitch is outside. Kicks and fires. Swing and a line drive. Base hit out of the center field. And that keeps the inning going. That is getting really, really annoying. It's getting very frustrating. Two outs, two strikes. Gave up the walk with two outs and two strikes last time. No problem handling it and putting a good swing on it that time. Next to hit, number 20. In there and it's 0-1. Bichette off of first with two away. Bichette goes. Pitch is high. That's out there. And the inning is over. Well, try to position, but a great catch in the Two of those outs coming on attempted steals. Oh man. I, what difficulty is my bat throwing on? My pitching on. Holy moly. Hater back to work. There's a strike. Riding to the plate. There's a strike. Ooh. Patrick Johnson Damn behind it. the plate. Patty Johnson to Sunbird, but I'd ask permission first before I called him that. 
does a pretty good job back there. Occasionally, we'll see a couple of sideways looks from players, but that kind of comes with the territory, right? What about an umpire's height? How much of a role does that play in your experience and what the strike zone is like? Yeah, I think it pushes the strike zone up a little bit. Which uh, froze, honestly froze me with that fastball. I was looking for an off-speed right there, was not expecting four fastballs in a row. So that one's, uh, that one's on me. Sometimes as a hitter, when you're down in the count, you're so focused on a pitcher painting the black, and you just get a little bit locked up on something down the heart of the plate, not expecting it, and it just kind of freezes you. One down, base is empty. Swing and a miss. Yeah, I went for that one way too early. On the ground, right side. Second time I've hit one of those way out of the zone. Or at least got in contact. I guess it doesn't technically qualify as a hit if you get it out. But, come on, the first stupid bugs. Ty France. Bad swing. Really, really bad swing. It was diving. I... Right-hander kicks, deals. There's the swing and a miss. Not a swing you want to watch again. Get it together. What are you doing? 0 oh and 2 now. That one missed. Count and 2. And a ball evens the count. I mean, that's a a walk, maybe. Right side. Will flare? No. Should have this one. Makes the grab, and that'll end the inning. Nobody left for Seattle, and our score remains 2-1. 15 XP. And welcome back. Now the, the number two base. hitter, number, number 20. 20. The wind and the pitch. There's God a damn it. Well, Fuck you. Out there, just oh, my God. More confidence and remember how good he's been in the past. Oh, Come on. Like, just. Strike. The guy at the plate could recognize slider out of the hand. Didn't stay in the tunnel very long in terms of depth and perception. He knew right away it was an off-speed pitch. There we go. That those are better. A lot of runners to deal with, so I'm not quite in the the rhythm that I'm normally in. And that one is lifted in the air. Lewis moving to his left, grabs it on the run, and there's one away. Now batting the first baseman, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Now. First pitch, and he just misses. Kicks and deals. There's a swing and a drive. There we go, Fraley. That's what you want to see. Two outs, space is empty. And now Teoscar Hernandez. First pitch, that was really bad. Zone. Early. A little anxious on that one. Two outs. Slapped foul. <laughs> to the right side. Tosses to first. That's the third out. Down okay. So we're through three. Eight, well, one. three innings pitched for Robbie Ray. We did get a pretty good outing from Shevitz. Miskovitz. And a pitch. 
That was a really bad swing. At the top of the order here. You want to get it on, see if you can get a stolen base, maybe get around the bases and pick up a run. Next offering misses, ball one. Next offering is in for a strike. That forcing fastball location is giving me some trouble here, especially with the lefty batters. Here comes a pitch. Stays alive. I mean, at least fouled away. Next pitch That's outside. Is outside. Two two now. Good eye right there. That one ripped. Darn it. Makes the catch. Darn it, darn it, darn it. Not pulled at all right there. He was clearly all over it, but sometimes you hit it too hard and right at someone. Looking for one of those loop hits to get a knock sometimes. Crawford, the next to hit, One's inside. One. Darn, that's a that's a wasted good piece of contact right there. Next pitch, not close, up high. Line drive, and that's a base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Now batting, center fielder. Well, they call that an advantage count for a reason. You're so much more likely to get something. Nah. Than to me, it's just a really controlled, balanced swing. He wasn't trying to do too much with it. Just stayed disciplined, got the barrel to the ball, and put it in play. One gone runner at first. And yeah, the batter now, Kyle Lewis. Fought off foul. That, bad, bad. Righty delivers out front and foul to the left side. With Damn two it. strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of a double play here. And a pitch. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Damn it, I, in my head, I was worried. I was thinking I needed to be wary of the slider. That's exactly what... Good action at the end. You know, even if he gets the bat to that ball, it's probably just a weak brown ball to the opposite side. Oops, oh boy, that was a... Tremendous two-strike pitch. Now batting Mitch Hanniger. No, no, no. No. God. Right-hander deals. Popped up foul territory behind the plate. Uh, Makes the catch, and that'll do it. Mariners lead one, and they trail it here. Not one of these games. Come on. Bad swing with Lewis. He did. I mean, he definitely got me with the. He got me with the slider. Back here at the ballpark as we go to the top of the fourth, and now the DH, Randall Gritchick. Ray, back to work. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Jesus fucking Christ. Are you kidding me? I get, like, literally the pitch I've been looking for all day, right? Painted in that corner, and it's a and fucking ball. And a foul ball. Some garbage-ass garbage right there. Next offering is foul back. Pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. It really cost me anything, but still frustrating. A little bit out of his own right there. I don't think that's a strike if he takes it. Pretty textbook pitching. Get ahead in the count. Get the guy in the box on his heels, and then force him to chase your pitch, where he doesn't have much of a chance to do any damage. Reese McGuire next up for the Blue Jays. 
First offering, and it just misses. Left-hand batter waits. That one fouled off. I don't love it going back to back, but maybe this slider with the eye level change will be Stays worth it. Alive. Better, better angle there. Next pitch misses outside, and it's two and two. Left hand hitter waits, and down on strikes he goes. Two gone. In the last couple of games, we've had. A strikeout on a pitch that is just hideous. In there for strike one. Chris, we were excited to watch him pitch. This is a little more along the lines of what we we're expecting performance wise. God, yeah, we are only in the top like of the fourth. This, you may get one opportunity in one inning to get to him, to get some runs up on the board. And if you don't take it then, you may see zeros the rest of the ball game. And he deals. That's a and that one is in for a strike. Well, it was bumpy in the early going for the lefty, but he settled into a really nice groove. One, two now. I, I can't get the pitches when I need to get the pitches. I'm a little frustrated with myself there. Crawford. Whips it to first. That's out number three. Nothing doing for the Blue Jays, but they still lead it two to one. Ready to go, bottom four. And now for Seattle, Adam Frazier. And a pitch. That's a strike. It's on that outside portion of the plate. I don't commit super well to it. Next pitch Way is outside. outside. to the play and now the count is even at the belt fires ground ball to the right side and it goes just foul pitch just that's a really good take that's a real not smart take on my part Early on that circle change. Everything's low in the zone. I'm, I'm pretty susceptible to something high. That's towards center. Number Done. 22 settles under this one. Just right and over the heart. Grab. And there's one down. under it. Number 13, Abraham. Toro. Abraham Toro will hit next. Two for eight in the series so far. Go, 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 go. That's what I wanted last time, but I got too excited. That's what I'm looking for. Holy shit. Thank you. Tie game, baby. I got too hyped when he was up last time. So that 75 power comes in handy. Circle change it. First pitch and that's in for a strike. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. Wasn't going to do anything with it anyway. Circle change a little up in the zone. Able to get enough under it. That one misses. And it's a ball and a strike. And a 
Yeah, there's that was an awful pitch. What's going on here? Right-hander kicks deals. Liner Ooh, damn it. Second. Damn it. Couldn't get the same result. The it's a circle change again a little bit up. I got it a little on top of it. It's too early on it, though. So here's Murphy now. Murphy two for nine in this series. Had that three-run home run that was huge in game one. First pitch just misses. I guess we'll call it even. And a pop-up right side foul territory. Guerrero makes the catch. Man, he's leaving some pitches up in the zone, and I, I just keep expecting him to drop. As it ties the ball game, two-two game. That'll work though. Hit number five is a home run. So a little small ball action, Welcome a little long John ball John action. With Chris Singleton. And leading it off, number 23. The wind of the pitch. And there's oh the my god. Goodness. I think he just took the best pitch he's going to see in this at bat. You don't get many like that in that location. I don't know if you take that pitch against any pitcher out there on the mound. Kicks and fires. And a base hit on a line. So a man on base to start the inning. I do not have command. I don't have location. It's bad. Really, really bad. That just... Next for Toronto, number 22. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Puts a bunt down, and he grabs it foul. Number 25, the board here at first with nobody out. And he bunts, but that's foul, strike two. Next offering upstairs. Seemed to have thwarted his plan a little bit. Surprised he was able to spit on that day. Line drive, short hop to third. The throw goes to second, safe there. What the fuck happened right there? Toro, what are you doing? Digging in. What happened right there? Are you fucking kidding me? I didn't do anything. It's a great backhand stop. But he, like, his animation was going to naturally go to first. Fuck me, that's awful. One for two. Oh, my God. Yeah, first off, and that's... How many fucking pitches do I need to throw over the middle before I get absolutely crushed? A laser to left base hit. Toro. The relay throw. That's an out. That's an out. I'm so irritated with that. Should be out number two right there, but hey, it's all right. Uh, actually surprised that that worked out in my favor. I thought the relay would actually cause a problem, but we're all right. He's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam. One out. Runners at first and second. Next offering upstairs. Come on. Right Give me a fucking strike. Jesus. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. You leave something out over the plate. Off balance feed. There's one. Out there, but that's all they'll get. It's just taking so long to throw the goddamn ball. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. The next to hit, he's over one. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Lefty out of the stretch, runners at first and third. If he can get through this one, put up a zero, this will help in his outings to come. And another ball 
It's a big opportunity right here, but I love the way he's slowing the game down. He's shrinking his zone, making sure he gets the pitch that he wants to hit. Next offering is foul back. The pitch. And a foul ball, he stays alive. They got a foul ball. Whew. That one did not feel good. Are occupied with two, down. two seems not much different, but maybe I try and get cute and blow one by him up top. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Just missed. If he's able to connect on that, look out. Got him. Oh, that's huge. That's fucking huge. Oh my god. Thank you, Fraley and Ray. Robbie Ray. Nice connection to get the get the cut down at first. Back in Seattle, bottom of the inning. And stepping in for the Mariners, Ty France. Yeah, the right hander back to work. Swing and a pop up. Absolutely well, atrocious. Oh my down. god. And there's one down. I'm so late on these now fastballs. Thompson Williams. Come on, and he swings and misses. I'm still so late on it. Fuck me. Alright, who do I have here? A little stacking rider. I got it. Ooh, a Justin Dunn. Alright. Alright. Justin Dunn and a second rider. Here comes a pitch. And a foul ball left side. Well, just again, foul. super late efficient. on that. Able to produce an outcome, it seems like within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at bat. The next one just misses. Ooh, that was a count one and two. Got to be aware here. He's been willing to throw four straight fastballs. He's done that again. He got me with a Fraley out earlier. And a pitch. Way inside gets out. I hit the button. I hit the button. And down on strikes. That's so fucking frustrating. Those are tough ones to let go as a hitter, but with the human umpire calling balls and strikes, it's always going to be on you to protect yourself with two strikes. And now here is J.P. Crawford. Slice the other way. That's a base hit. The center fielder, number one. Having himself a really nice game at the plate. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight. I, I went for it because right it was low. He threw everything down there last time with that slider, the cap off pitch. One. And that's downstairs and outside. Crawford, the runner at first with two gone. One and two now. Got him. That's the third out. Inning over. One left for Seattle. And this game is still tied at two and two. Those are some absolutely heinous fucking strikeouts. And welcome back. Now it's the right fielder, Teoscar Hernandez. I'm not fucking around. We got too tight of a game here. See if we can dial in some location here with uh, Stacking Rider. Like that 12-6 uh, curve to Drop a little bit more, but 
and that circle change up just a smidge. If I could split the difference with those last two pitches, I'd be really happy. That one was not a good pitch. Man, I just don't have it. Don't have it. There we go. The pitch. Foul ball. Line drive. Come on. There we go, Frazier. Thank you, sir. Here's the Toronto DH, Randall Gritchick. Swing and a ground ball out to short. On to France. Oh, and a couple of quick outs. The catcher, Reese McGuire. Two outs, base is empty. And now the catcher comes up to him, Reese McGuire. And that's in there for strike one. To the right side. France gets it to first. Wow. And that is that. Blue Jays go uh, down. Okay. Pitching Score change. Eight, two, two. Huge crab right there. I think it helped that everything. Everybody was on the right side. Batting wise. So that was helpful. Back at T-Mobile Park. Bottom of the sixth inning. And now Mitch Hanniger. Hanniger. pitch in there at the knees and that's strike one inside just missed next offering is in for a strike Next one misses, and the count is two and two. Way to lay off that fastball up right there. You're looking for something you see well that you can handle, but you also have to keep the discipline so that you're not popping up pitches that are just a little too high. Number 25 makes his way Damn towards it. it. Racing like makes Real early with that splinter. What a way. Great Good sure. pitch. He just kind of had him out in front on that pitch away and wasn't able to stay close. Frazier. Stands in now and watches strike one. He's doing a lot on this outside zone here. Outside of the zone. I'm really and struggling with it lefty-wise. Left That's a bad fucking swing. Towards the line. Makes the grab on the run. That's out number two. The third baseman, number 13. Abraham. Here's the third baseman, Toro. Abraham Toro. That's a bad swing. What are you doing? Super late on that. Fuck. Dedalio one. Next offering is outside. Down and in, moved his feet. Two down, nobody on. And that one wrapped foul. Two, two down. He swings and fouls one off. Am I still late on? Okay, that one was early. Next pitch in the dirt. Full count now. Left hand batter waits, and there's ball four. See, that's where it gets a little frustrating. Is like obviously I don't want to strike out a third time right there, but it super sucks that that was a ball and two other ones that were right on that same line, maybe even like a smidge lower. Those were strikes. Up 
the middle, and there's a base hit. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. That extends his hitting streak to an even dozen, Singy. Will opposing pitchers start to take notice when a guy's on a roll like this? Yeah, I think so, Boog. It's not like it changes the scouting report on a guy or anything like that too much, but you're aware of who's swinging the hottest bat, and that's definitely him right now. Now it's Tom Murphy. First pitch, and he's oh. looking at it. It's inside, buddy. And the 1 0. Just missed. When you get ahead in the count, there's no doubt that the success rate goes up. And that's what he's been doing. It's made a big impact for him in recent games. Two on, two outs. Like you got to take all the way Four. here. At second, Fraley at first, two out of the inning. In for a strike, now three and one. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Sharp rounder, that's through for a base hit. Runner around third. Here comes the throw, but it's offline. He will score. It's 3-2. Let's fucking go. Let's go. Righty, righty action right there. Here comes the manager out of the Blue Jays' dugout, and he will make a move to the pen. Kevin Gosman makes way, and as he heads for the dugout, we'll take a quick break. New arm on the mound when we get back. He's still a right-handed hitter, or thrower, or pitcher. Right-handed pitcher, jeez. Jose De Leon, 21. Uh, games, 4-4 four and four record, one save, only one opportunity. 44.2 with a 5-4 ERA. Uh, two seam is at 96, a circle change at 86, a slider at 82. Swings through that Got me with the slider right there. Not the easiest thing when you're talking about a guy that's, you know, perhaps is going to be in the rotation, you know, maybe a long relief guy to not start an inning, to come into an inning with pressure on it and, and try to get yourself comfortable. The pitch. So what kind of speed do I have? Oh, 63. Second, two down. The throw was up the line. It was a better throw. It's a close... Oh boy, God, fuck me. And yeah, the right hander deals. This to center field. Number 22 under this one. He's got it. I just got him. Not a great That's run right. on the RBI single. It's Put myself in a really bad position by going for those two sliders. The first one's like fine. It definitely like it got me. I wasn't anticipating a slider there. Looked real good, and then it was kind of like, well, you've hit the button, and it's it's going. the The second one that was so far out of the zone was. The yeah. All right. So we have done, ready to roll here. Uh, we also have. We have a Castillo. We have a Seawald. Bounding ball here, rolls foul. Smash to the left side. He dives, but he can't make the catch. And he beats it. He I'll stays. take it. I'll take it. Seems like he got exactly what he was looking for. I mean, it's most likely a base hit either way, but at least gave myself a chance to try and get that. I don't know if I dove late or early or... Kind of speed, 70 speed over there. And he's down 0 2 as he swings what through. What the it. fuck? Your base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get in the scoring position. 
What the hell? What the absolute hell? I mean, that's again we where we've seen just a, a, an abysmal pitch end up as a strike. Third time in this series. Hey, Oscar Hernandez goes five for five. Ugh. One run game, one out, one on. The next offering misses, and that's one ball up. one. Those 12 6 curves are just fucking God, they're staying up in the zone here. And a pitch. And fouled off. Got the foul. Pitch. Swing and a miss. Okay. Velocity. All right. Blast All right. right Obviously, I want to see the the double play here. Come on, come on. That was such a bad pitch. Oh my god. Oh my god. That was Ooh. That was awful. Absolutely awful on the the last half of the seventh. Now at the plate, Dom Thompson Williams. Okay. The wind of the pitch. Oh out my right God! Tosses the first and a quick out number That's one. Fuck! It, uh, it's such a. Oh, it's so frustrating. Thompson Williams has the power. He has speed. I love him in the the top of the lineup, but I just can't get him figured out against right-handed hitters. Lefties, he's fine. Merriweather, a hard-throwing right-hander. Up as well. The 1 0. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down at a. Next pitch misses inside. And now 3 0. Absolutely Get the fuck out of here. A solo shot. It's his sixth home run of the season. And they boost their Let's lead. go, JP Crawford. My man. We love him defensively. He comes through in the clutch offensively. Offensively. Woo, hoo, hoo, hoo. That one, I just said fuck it. It was a 3-0 count. I thought I'd get something high. That'll work. Damn it. I wanted it. I wanted it so bad. Damn. Okay, way inside. I was actually, I was looking for something like that, but on the opposite side of the plate. And it's fouled away. He's a little out front, but did a good job keeping the hands back long enough to foul that pitch off. Out to short. Bichette picks it up. Bichette. Woo hoo hoo! A little better. We we've had uh, success getting Bichette deep in the hole like that. Pitch misses inside. Ball one. Lewis at first, one gone. Hammered on a line to the left, 
Ah, stay second, stay second. Thought that was going to split the defenders. Back-to-back singles, just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. Once in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity, right on top of it. First and second, one out. Here's Adam Frazier, one for three. That one back up the middle, and it gets through. Lewis, around third. Throw is offline, and he scores. It's five. Yes! Let's go! Let's go, baby! Basketball pretty much middle, middle, and that's what you fall asleep dreaming about as a hitter. So no surprise, he put a great swing on it. On the mound now, Bowden Francis. I know that like pitchers get like winning wins and losses and stuff like that, and it like doesn't. That's not always. It's not always their fault, you know. You have like Felix Hernandez who goes out, gives up one run, pitches like eight innings, and like a Jacob Degrom, whatever. You get these like super good, awesome pitchers who come out and lose games that they probably should win because they don't get the run support or whatever. That guy, whew, that guy I got, I got too excited there. Uh, that guy lost this game. If we can hold this lead here. That one lifted to left. Number 25 settles underneath it. Calls it in, and there's two away. No reason to get a double play there. No left fielder. So first and second with two outs. Here's the left fielder, Jake Fraley. Uh, 94 mile an hour on the fastball. 84 on a slider, 83 on a changeup, 92 on a two seam. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Looking for some insurance. Or as our friends down in the south would say, insurance. No matter how you say it, we know what you mean. Right-handed reliever. Up the middle. To second, there's Ooh, that was, uh, that was actually a that much closer inning. play. Bad power swing time there. I thought he'd leave something up in the zone. But, the uh, five, and the Blue Jays two. I don't love the 12 hits with only five runs across, but I will take it with, with how much of a struggle it has been. Off back in Seattle. Go ahead and uh, take advantage of that. All right. We still have a save situation here, so we are going to we're gonna play it safe. We're going to switch pitchers. We're going to keep working it that way. Uh, we're going to go with the Castillo Seawald, eighth and ninth here. Obviously, another run. We'll throw uh, Justin Dunn in. We'll keep him warmed up, ready to roll. Um Does set up an exciting game tomorrow. Should everything stay the way it is now. Shouldn't get ahead of myself. Need to stay locked in, focused, ready to roll. Of the pitch. Swing and a line drive base. Well, that is not field. a good start. So a runner aboard to start the That's okay. We have Justin Dunn ready to roll. Just missed with that. Front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. Next pitch inside. Man. Yeah, that's ball two. Now, this guy's definitely mm. looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ball game. Get back slider outside. Oh, sinker outside. Pitch. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. Okay, this is a little frustrating. This is a little frustrating. This is a little frustrating. I can't locate and I can't get out. There's just no chance for the infielders with how hard he hit it. 
starting to get some pretty good timing on that breaking ball, but he's going to have to stay ready for a fastball. Don't want to watch one go right by you. And one and two. Clearly is sitting on a fastball right there and just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't. Ah, I wanted it. Come on. Now he's just gonna have to with two Come on. Right into the plate. There we go. There we go. There we go. Thought I was getting too cute with that. Thought I was getting too cute. So up next for Toronto, Randall Gritchen. Definitely wants to stay out of the double play here. Ball on the ground in the infield. Should be an inning ending double play. I like the pitch. I don't love the location. So Boog, if you're that base runner second base, you want to be quiet out there. Not bouncing around. Not distracting your teammate, the hitter. Here's a swing and a drive. This one headed down the left field line. If it's there, it's gone. Out of here. Randall Gritchett goes deep. Home run number 15 on the year. And they throw three on the board. It's 5-5. They have five runs on two homers. I knew I was going to get burned. I've, I've been struggling with the location today. I've thrown a lot of pitches that were pretty bad. Reese McGuire. I jinxed myself. I fucking talked my stupid little mouth. Up the middle. Fires over to first. That's the second out. Number eight. Kevin Biggio. Kevin Biggio with a chance to hit. In the air, left field. Fraley going back on this one. He can't get there. That should be extra bases. And that moves the, the go ahead run to scoring position with two gone. So, runner at second, two down. And next for Toronto, number 25. Ground ball to first. France takes it to the bag. Third out. I worked so hard. Right here. I worked Three so hard. Over. All even at five apiece. Bottom of the eighth. Just a disgusting three-run home run. The pitch. There's a strike. Next swing went around. Eat and that shit. is strike two. Ah, that hit him. And the leadoff man is aboard to start the inning. You just can't afford to make these kind of mistakes this late in the ball game. You need to make the offense earn everything down the stretch. And that right there was just a freebie. Line, and that's a base hit. Throw holds him at second, but the go-ahead run now in scoring position, and still nobody out. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. I could watch base hits like that one all day long, and so could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive into center field. Now a good opportunity to potentially jump ahead in this game here in the later innings. Substitution being made at first. On to pinch run. Dill Here is Dom Thompson Williams. That hits the dirt. And it's yeah. Thompson Williams. We're 0 for 4 with you today. It's my approach. I'm not playing well with you. Let's have some patience here. See if we can do something to get. Uh... Next pitch has popped up. Jesus Christ. Just, just fucking Jesus fucking Christ. J.P. Crawford gets a chance to hit. That was it. That was the fucking one. God damn it. God damn it. Next offering way off the plate. Next one misses, two and one. These home fans, they are making a lot of noise, putting pressure on that pitcher out there at the belt and fight. This one lifted in the air, left field. 
two away. Oh, the throw is wild. The center fielder, number one, Kyle. So first and second Lewis. with two outs. Here's the center fielder, Kyle Lewis. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing at God all. Goddamn fucking like slider. They're guessing on the first pitch, and he was going to sell out to it. Didn't make any contact, though. Kicks and fires. Comes up empty. That was it. That was maybe not what I thought it was. Slightly elevated. That's a confidence boost for this guy out there on the mound. See if he continues to climb the ladder. Next offering is way upstairs. 0-2 fastball way out of the zone. I think he's trying to speed him off. Got to stay back. Off-speed's probably coming. Right-hander kicks deals. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. And we stay tied as the inning ends. Mariners leave a couple. Our score holds at five apiece. I worked so hard to get this lead and put Dylan myself Cole in good positions to just fuck myself. New inning getting started, now and now for the Jays, number, number 22, 25. Castillo, yeah. back to work. That misses, 1-0. and oh. You know, this guy's great speed is in the back of that pitcher's mind. If he can get on, it's going to give him one more. Just take a timeout. Take a timeout. I'm anxious. I'm frustrated. I'm annoyed. I am really unhappy. I gave I up a three run lead in one blast. I have not had the location today. That is what's uh, starting to get me at the moment. I mean, that one, we've had two pitches that are just. Eh, just eh. one the other way and a base hit right there off to a good start with a leadoff now oh, that at bat had a lot riding on it Justin Dunn gets handed the rock out of the pen 25th appearance of the year for him How the fuck is that 100% perfect and right over the heart of the plate? And now, Bobichet. First pitch doesn't find the zone. And a 1-0. Chris, with that distraction and a speedy guy at first, he's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. Kicks and deals. On the ground, could be two. Whips it to Moore. Just got him on that one. Good late bite on that slider. Got the hitter out front, rolled over on it. Exactly what it was supposed That's to be. That's twice now that I've had an infield situation... I, Crawford was loaded for the throw to second, and I was trying to preload the throw Number to first. Like, I, I was trying to get the rhythm down, but I guess I was a little too far ahead. Really no reason to I, I, right here. Put him on. Have the force at second first. Perhaps get no. any double play. Save. I thought it I thought it got popped. I thought it got popped up. I I want this series against Toronto to end. Next up for the Blue Jays. This 
guy has turned into a beast. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. In the infield at the corners, don't be surprised to see them come home first and prevent that run from scoring. Justin Dunn with some fantastic, fabulous the, location here. First with one away. That's a base hit, run scores. Up next to the blue team. Well, there you go, the RBI machine, another clutch run scoring at bat. Yeah, he's been so good You know, honestly, it, it doesn't matter. Um, that would have been, would have been two outs. Here's Teoscar Hernandez. Here's the pitch. Both runners on the move. And first offering is fouled off. And a pitch. And it's even up. Righty delivers. He swings and drives one out to deep left field. That one back there makes the catch crashing into the wall. Another catch up for second. Man, Weird base running there. Take on the wall to make that play, and it's a lot easier to watch from up here because that can be painful in the end. You know the wall's coming up on you quickly. So in the left center for a base hit. Runner around third in the score. Now a relay to the plate. Tag safe at home. It's eight to five. Gets the job done as he brings home a pair. If you connect and it jumps off your bat like that, you're thinking double at the very least. What a great swing on it. And man, he wasn't fooled at all. Here's the Toronto catcher, Reese McGuire. That one pulled foul. Turns out the uh, the extra out did matter. Would have just been a 6-5 game going down to the bottom of the ninth. Man, I had a lot of confidence going into the... the uh, that's not what I was looking for. Look those cards go. There they are. Foul ball there. I, I went in, I was so, we had three runs, we broke the game open, and then it was just one fucking. Two outs. Popped up. Just one bad pitch. It was a, it was a sinker that was just so far in the air. We gave up six runs between the eighth and the ninth innings. It's now an 8-5 ball game. We're back, and on the mound is the closer, Adam Simber. And he'll work on holding this lead. Adam. Now, Mitch Hanniger put that 600 slugging into context. The league average usually in the low 400s. For this guy, it's truly a battle. Sinker's at 90, slider at 81, fastball at 90, so I got to really slow down. Actually, pretty good timing on that first, that first pitch. And it's a ball and a strike. Simber is ready. So Ooh, the foul that's, ball uh, makes I it really... one two. Get it out of here. And the righty deals. Cut on and miss. Struck him out. I it took and my eye off, off man in the night. for no reason. Better, it's always a big one for the close. You get that sure. punch out. You get settled in. You feel like you're in command out there on the mound from the jump. And kind of prevents any doubt creeping into your mind or the guys that are playing behind you that you know you're gonna wrap this thing up now that the third baseman Abraham and now Toro. it's gonna be Abraham Toro he's already homered here in this one and first offering is fouled off all season long he's racked up a number of saves and sometimes the adrenaline doesn't get high enough until there's a runner or two on base. And a foul ball. Frazier, the base runner at first with one out. Double play ball to second. There's one. Ow! A double play to end it. A little sigh of relief for the pitcher there, ending the ball game with a nice double play. You always love when you can get two for one, especially when it wraps up the ball game. Nice win for these guys today. And this one ends with the score eight to five.
Chris Singleton and our entire crew. I'm John Shabby saying so long. Fans are final line score tonight. As for the victorious Blue Jays, eight runs on... Brandon Gorchek is your player of the game. Three for five with a home run, a double, five ribbies. A uh, run him scored himself. Uh, Teoscar Hernandez was one for five with that two-run shot early in the game to put us in a hole. Uh, but we were able to get one of the two runs back and then tie it up in the fourth. That big sixth and seventh inning were completely undone by a really rough eighth and ninth. Vlad Guerrero Jr. was two for four with a ribby. Uh, and three. He scored three times. Kevin Biggio. Yeah, Kevin. Kevin? Kevon? Kevon Biggio? Two for four with a double. Uh, Crawford was four for five. Had the home run. Um, the solo home run scored twice. Abraham Toro was one for four. He had a solo home run and scored twice as well. Adam Frazier was three for five. Knocked in two runs. Tom Murphy, one for three. He knocked in one run. Diego Castillo gets the loss. Uh, one inning pitched, five hits given up, one strikeout, four earned on his, excuse me, on his line. Bowden Francis, 1.2 innings pitched, one hit, one strikeout, uh, no walks, no earned, were um, uh, for the win, excuse me, and then Adam Simber, Simbar, Simber, he picks up save number 24. This is the roughest game we've had in a while. This is absolutely devastating. Two threes in the eighth and the ninth. Uh, a couple of mental errors throughout this game. I got kind of goofed by the computer a couple of times as well. Um, the There was a Toro play and a Crawford play where, like, I had it going one way and then it just took too long and, like, the animation was weird and... Uh, yeah, this uh, this Toronto team is scary. I knew that going into this game, uh, or going into this series rather, um, and it felt good to hold them to the you know the one bad two run home run uh, early in the game and be able to tie it. I was like, okay, we're, we're at least being competitive here. Got the lead, got two more on. Thought I felt I felt fucking incredible going into that eighth inning, um, and then we gave up uh, obviously six runs in the final two innings. A couple of poor decisions on my part. Um, one decision, I, when, when he did the bunt, I genuinely thought, and this is a consistent problem I have with this game. Um, when he, when he went to do the bunt, I it hit the ground and jumped and I thought it just jumped off the bat. So like, I, I thought it was a thing like it, it was, I thought it was a pop and I was going to try and do that and then double up on second and get the, get a two, you know, get the two for, get that. But fuck, I mean, um, that obviously that came back to bite me because they scored two more runs. Uh, what would have been I think they, they had, I had two outs with that. I don't know. I don't know. I also had mentioned earlier in the game that I was a, I knew I was leaving too many pitches over the heart of the plate and I knew I was going to get burned and it happened in that eighth inning with a three run home run, um, changed the entire game. I, it completely deflated me and completely frustrated me. Giving up 18 runs to this team in the last two games. Um, and that it's interesting because we've actually been doing a much better job at winning four runs or fewer games, but this is the rare case of uh, five runs or more, and it's it's a loss. This is this is devastating. I am so bummed about this to give up that three run home run and to to give up three more in the ninth. Part of it's my fault. Sometimes the game's a little weird. I don't know what pitching difficulty I'm on, and I just don't feel like I'm getting it to drop at all. I've clearly struggled with this team. This is not a team that I want to see in the future in the playoffs at all. We struggled with them in Toronto. We lost 7-1. We lost 4-2. And that 7-5 game got unnecessarily close in the bottom of the ninth. So, I I don't know. I don't know. I just, 
I, I want to be done with this series. What was the, the other series that we had where I was, just, I think it was the Los Angeles Angels four game set where I was like, I would love to see any other team right now. I don't give a shit. Just want to see any other team. We will, uh, we'll wrap up this series tomorrow right here on youtube.com slash Rex. So please be sure to scroll down, subscribe, ring that bell, do all that good stuff. Uh, and we will see you tomorrow to hopefully even up this series and tie it two to two. Uh, I do think that the, and we can check here, um, we have, we have Logan Gilbert on the mound, which is good news for us. Uh, eight and seven. He picked up a couple of wins like back to back and went from six and seven, eight and seven like that. We are facing Alex Manoa. He is nine and four with a two, four, eight ERA. Logan Gilbert, eight and seven with a three, eight, six ERA. The Astros lost yesterday or lost today as well. So we do maintain that four game lead on them. Um, seven and a half over the Angels. They must have won yesterday or today, and they did. Um, it keeps the Blue Jays, excuse me, in first place in the American League East, and it keeps the Yankees and Orioles in the wild card spots. The Astros a half game out of that. So. Uh, a devastating loss. We I haven't blown too many games like this recently, um, so that has been a that's been a definite positive, a definite positive. But this one hurts. This one hurts. We'll try our best to move on tomorrow, get a win, and head into a day off with a little bit of positivity. Um, but thank you for joining me. Hopefully you enjoyed, and we'll see you tomorrow at seven for more sports uh, at specific time for more baseball right here. So thank you for watching. Go sports. Good Mariners.